Guys, first off, let me wish you all a happy St. Patrick's Day. It is March 17th, and this is the one day a year that we are all Irish. So look, that is gonna lead us off in today's show. You've got that leftover corned beef, or maybe you've got that leftover pastrami, and you are looking for something to do with it, something a little bit different. I've got just the uh, recipe for you today. Now look, I'm gonna do a corned beef hash today, but this isn't gonna be the corned beef hash that you see on just about every other channel. This is gonna be jacked up. This is gonna be more recipe oriented and this is gonna pack a hell of a lot more flavor. So look, on today's show, I will be using my Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. If you don't have the uh, Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle, if you've got the Blackstone, if you've got the saute pan, maybe you've got the uh, Master Build 800 Griddle or the Camp Chef Griddle, they will all work just about the same. All right, guys, look, so what we're gonna do here to kick this show off is just get a, uh, just get a little bit of prep work out of the way once we're done with that will meet you at the griddle. Every time I break out this knife, people always ask. I can tell you it is Dell Strong, and I can tell you down in the description, I got a 10% off. If you're thinking about knives, I definitely recommend these. Guys, try to hang in on this recipe. It's a little long, but it's definitely worth it. It packs a, a hell of a flavor. Get your leftover corned beef out. I am gonna take a little bit of fat off mine. You can do the same or you can leave it either or cube it up because you're gonna wanna get it in a, uh, a processor. If you don't have a processor, you can chop it, but you wanna get a uh, very small dice. Guys, this next step is important here. This is a uh, this is a game changer to the recipe. You're gonna roast off garlic, and you are also gonna roast off a whole onion. Okay, I'll have information down below in the description. If you don't know how to do it, it's very, very easy to do. Basically, you are gonna soften everything up on the garlic. You're gonna squeeze it like that and get all those cloves, all those bulbs inside the processor. I also am gonna stick about two, three cloves in and on roasted. And also I'll get those uh, roasted onions in. This, we're gonna basically pulsify it up, almost liquid form. And we are gonna add it to the uh, corned beef. You'll see that in a bit. So look to that, I will get a whole onion unroasted in, and we will get this off into about a medium dice. And there is our hash, and basically you are gonna get that garlic in, that onion in, some more onions in, and incorporate all that together. Guys, in next you will add out your hash brown. These are just frozen hash browns, all good. It works just the same. And I got about a cup and a half in. You are just gonna have to judge. You are gonna have to eye, depending on how much corned beef or pastrami that you're working with. Other than that, I'll have full guidelines information on this recipe down in the show notes under the uh, in the description. And that is some black pepper, depending on how spicy you want. I got about a tablespoon in. And look, do not add any salt in. You don't need it. And I'll pair this hash up with a basic home fries that is nice and easy. So look, we got our griddle all ready to go. I got those three burners on low. Laser information down in the description. If you're gonna run a griddle, you're gonna need one. And look, I'm not gonna waste too much time on these potatoes. This is a basic home fry right here with a little onion mixed in, salt, pepper, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna get it on the griddle. We'll move it around. We'll hit it with some butter maybe about two, three minutes, we'll get it moved over to the side. Oh. 
quick close of the hood, and then I'll get you guys in close. Now keep in mind, I'll be measuring that uh, griddle surface temp. I will be turning on my uh, two right burners. I'll do medium low over there as I move my home fries over. Now one practice I like to do before I introduce new foods to the grill, I like to give it a little uh, quick wipe down, quick wipe down, yeah. Just. So a quick wipe down and then let's sling some hash. Oh. Now as you could see, I am using a, a metal spatula on this uh, on this Pit Boss Ultimate Griddle. Fear and not as I'm barely making contact with the uh, surface. Oh, yeah. uh, as you see, I just wanted to jump in here real quick when you're dealing with a, uh, a lot of food on the griddle. You want to get as much on touching the surface as you can. So you want to spread it out. You don't want to clump it all up in one area. Spread it out as best you can so you get more surface temp on the food. Yeah. And we are moving right along. And look, I like a, uh, I like a little bit of a char on my grill. A little bit burnt, but not quite burnt, if you know what I mean. I think that just kind of adds flavor. And the one way to get that is to just leave it alone, let it cook. And after about two, three minutes, give it a flip, let it cook. Guys, always keep in mind, I got a lot of cuts in between my uh, turns where it is uh, sitting. And of course, let's get some fat introduced in the uh, form of some butter. Now I will turn up my uh, pit boss up to a high as I uh, Look to get some color on this hash. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh. I mean, you know, there's not really much to say here. Just get a uh, Get a little bit more butter down. I got the right burners are on so I can get those potatoes heated up. And this is basically a slinging some hash. Oh, yeah. So look, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get the majority off, get it in the house. That is for dinner for tonight, but I am gonna plate up one plate for you all right now. And oh yeah, to do that, we gotta get some eggs down. Now look, as you'll see, I'm a little rusty on my one-handed egg cracking technique as we got a little yolk run on that uh, on that top egg. And that is not going to work for the uh, thumb for this uh, cook. So I will get a uh, another egg in minus the shell. Oh, yeah. And that egg there will go over to Molly. And look, here's a little pro tip here for you. Get a little water around on your egg. A little steam will help cook that egg. Remember, most of the times in a diner, you're poaching these eggs anyway. That's and of course, the uh, no stick on the uh, Pit Boss Ultimate Crib. Steam working underneath that egg. That's all good. Guys, look over at this point, man. I will get this plated up, and then we will take this in for a uh, 
And for some closing thoughts and a live taste test, look, man, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because you ain't going to want to miss what's coming up, man. We are going to be blowing out this griddle. Plus, I got some uh, I got some pretty cool smoking videos coming down. And don't forget our Sunday burgers. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, the year is 1982. I'm 20 years old, and I am slinging hash again at the diner. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, man, those who follow the show know that I've been uh, working at Griddle at my mom's restaurant, probably, uh, you know, off the dishwasher. That's where I went, 16, 17, maybe. Uh, I can't even remember. It's been so long ago, but that's where I basically got my bones was on the griddle. So I definitely do love cooking on this sucker. And here you go, man. This is the, uh, this is the classic. This is the classic corned beef hash. You got your two eggs. They are definitely loose, although they've been sitting for a while as I uh, snap pictures. You got your home fries, and you definitely got some burn marks in here, man. That is exactly, you want some hash, you know, a little bit crispy at spots, and that just adds flavor. Remember, do not add salt to this dish, because chances are your corned beef or pastrami may be salty enough, so you definitely do not want to add salt. Everything else put in, follow this recipe, man, because this recipe is that little bit extra, man. That onion and garlic paste that we mixed in with the uh, corned beef or pastrami just really sets this apart from the rest, trust me. All right, man, I know you guys want to see me break the yolk, so there you go. We are perfectly loose. Quick taste test, and man, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. I mean, this will satisfy anybody's corn, beef, hash needs. The yolk just takes it over the top, that paste, man, it has all the flavors in, in there. This is diner cooking right in your house, man, trust me. And of course, you gotta have those crispy home fries. And we got Molly right here. Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Look, that is it, man. I am gonna, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up again, man. Happy St. Patrick's Day, man. We are killing the griddle, man. We will be cooking on this thing all summer long. So definitely hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, man, because you're not gonna wanna miss anything that I got going on. Guys, don't, don't forget Sunday Burgers is happening. That is every Sunday I'll release a, uh, a new burger cook. We are on volume two. This is number two in the series, and who knows how long that sucker's gonna run. But man, that is it for this one. And hey, man, special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube join and members. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all you guys that watch. Smash that like button because it helps the channel out. And information down below about Patreon and YouTube join members. And until next time, we will see you soon.